Matches Blown. Hey, what's up, guys? Matches Blown here, bringing you guys another DC Toy Box TV review. Today, we're going to be looking at the Pop Heroes Suicide Squad number 103 Diablo. <laughs> Okay guys, like always, before we get into actual figure review, I do want to go over the packaging. As you can see, this is your standard Funko Pop box. It is an open window box where we get to see the figure inside. Right here in the corner, we get a cartoony image of the same figure. Up top, we get to read Pop Heroes, Suicide Squad, and the number 103. El Diablo from Suicide Squad is the 103rd figure of the overall Pop Heroes line. Across the bottom, we get to read Diablo, vinyl figure. We get an age recommendation of 14 and up, as well as a warning. Uh, on the side, we get to see the entirety of that cartoony image. Up top, we get a Pop Heroes logo. We get to read Diablo, 103. And in the corner, we get a DC Comics logo. Then in the back, we get to see that same cartoony image once again. Pop Heroes logo, Suicide Squad logo, the entirety of the Pop Hero Suicide Squad line, Diablo, 103, Funko, uh, DC Comics logo, and a Wonder Bros logo. Then right here on the side, continuing with that open window, we get to see the side of that figure. Up top, another Pop Heroes logo. Across the back, we get to read Diablo number 103 and we get the top of that cartoony image up top we get the same cartoony image as well as a pop heroes logo then in the bottom we pretty much just get some manufacturing details as well as another funko logo barcode made in vietnam and funko's uh, social media contacts uh but yeah that is pretty much it for packaging i'm gonna get diablo out of his box and we can check him out Okay guys, here we have Diablo out of his box. Now before we get into it, I do want to quickly mention that inside of the box you are going to get a Legion of Collectors flyer. Now for those guys who don't know, this is a bi-monthly subscription box from Funko themselves and it is all DC Comics uh, related, um, you know, just stuff. Uh, that's your website right there. The only reason I'm bringing this up is because if you guys are trying to collect the entire Suicide Squad Pop Heroes line, Legion of Collectors has an exclusive Enchantress figure. So if you guys, you know, want to collect them all, I definitely suggest you guys go check them out. So that's that. Um, but let's just get into Diablo himself. Now, I got to say this is a really cool figure. I definitely like this, you know, design. Um, you know, it just looks really awesome. Uh, from the get-go, I think the first thing you're really going to notice is all his face tattoos. Uh, you know, he has a bunch of them. I know in the movie, it looks like he has a lot more. But this is really cool. Uh, what I really like is kind of it's written Diablo right here across his jawline. So that's really cool. Um, you know, Pops don't really have a mouth, but it looks like, you know, he has some teeth tattooed on him as well. So that looks really interesting. Uh, and I think he's almost going for the skull look because this kind of looks like the skull. And then you, if you guys seen skull drawings, how they have the big black eyes with the, the nose. So I think that's what he's going for. He has a... Uh, Oh, I believe it's called a scythe right here, but it also looks like a seven. And then what's interesting, he also has seven dashes right there, seven tally marks. So I'm sure seven has to be like his lucky number or has to deal something important to him, uh, you know, for him to tattoo it on his face. And then, um, you know, again, kind of continuing with that skull design, he does have these kind of black marks right here on the side of his face. Looks really cool and really interesting. I'm not exactly sure what marking that is. It looks like a cross. I know he's supposed to be Catholic, so maybe that is a, you know, a Christian cross. So, or I guess a Catholic cross. Um, and I'm, I'm not really sure what that is. That could be a tear. You know, he is supposed to be like a, a gangster. So, I don't know. I also like how he has, uh, he is kind of bald, but it almost looks like this is like that faded, um, when, when people get a shave and they still have kind of like that darkened uh, part of their head, right? So that's what it kind of looks like. At least that's what I think it is. So that's kind of cool. On the back, he has HS13. I'm not exactly sure what that is. If we look at the back of his jacket right here, it does say three hill ciders. So I don't know if, that, if this is a correlation to one another. But, you know, it is kind of cool. This is definitely going to be something that I'm hoping they would explain more in the movie themselves. 
but right now that we do have the back let's look at that really cool back graphic like i said it does say three hillsiders uh across the bottom it says east los angeles and i believe that says it's kind of hard to see i believe this is 1922 um let me let me focus on this yeah I, like it, it's kind of hard to see um but here let me focus Maybe you guys can see a better look at it. I think it says 1922. Uh, I'm not really sure. But right there, you do see a skull with a hat on and you have flames around it. So that is a really cool graphic on his jacket. This is almost kind of like, um, I want to say a Letterman jacket, but I'm not really sure. Um, continuing in the front, we get to see Diablo right here on his, his, uh, yeah, his left chest. So that's cool. And then you can kind of see there is some tattoos on his chest right there. It is intruding over the white shirt he has on. Uh, so that looks really cool. I also like the color of his jacket, how it's different shades of blue with some yellow as an accent color. That looks really cool. He has a little bit of a hand tattoo right there, these three dots. Um, and he has another tattoo right here, 213. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I believe it's uh, maybe a Los Angeles zip code, but again, I'm not 100% sure. I believe this is the belt strap, you know, just sticking out uh, from under his his shirt. Here we see him with a gold chain and cross. Again, he is, uh, you know, apparently Catholic. So, you know, it goes into the, I guess, the religious aspect of the character. He seems to be wearing just some, you know, some gray slacks. But again, these could be sweatpants. These could be jeans. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but, you know, it looks really cool. And he has on some nice, clean, white shoes. So it looks really cool. Uh, definitely looks very street. You know, I don't want to say it looks gangsterous because, you know, I, I, I wouldn't know the first thing about that. But it definitely lo looks a unique style. If you guys see my other uh, Suicide Squad Pop Heroes figures, a lot of them have just regular street clothes. So it is kind of cool that he has, you know, pretty much the same thing. But it's still very unique to Diablo and helps him stand out. Uh, like I said, I do like the colors, the grays, the blues, the whites, you know, the yellow and gold, um, even a little bit of the black. Uh, he just looks really nice overall. I think he's doing a really good job of standing out. He, uh, the colors are very vibrant. They're very, you know, pardon the pun, but they just pop. So I think he looks really cool. And like I said, those face tattoos are probably the first thing you're going to see. So he already grabs in your attention, and I think overall he just keeps it. So that's really cool. Um, he is like other Funko Pops where you could rotate the head. Now, again, this has been a little bit of a gripe throughout this series of Suicide Squads. But he does seem to have a little bit of a looser head, almost like Deadshot. Not as loose as Harley Quinn and Joker, but it is uh, a little looser than normal. So, you know, take that as you is. It's not necessarily a negative. It's just, you know, something weird when you consider Funko Pops heads are usually very uh, tight. So... Uh, but yeah, that is essentially Diablo. You know, again, just a nice little turn. Like I said, he looks really cool. I really like that graphic on the back of his jacket. It looks really interesting. Uh, but yeah, for a bit of a fun comparison, I do have the rest of the squad. So here we have uh, the Suicide Squad Pop Heroes Killer Croc. And we have the Suicide Squad Pop Heroes boomerang uh so yeah, as you can see you know they all look really cool really interesting this is not uh, i would not consider these their traditional outfits but it definitely looks like the you know coming out of the movie it looks a lot of personality it looks a lot of street if you kind of look at all their clothes they all essentially have just a different version of just regular clothes that anybody can buy at a store so that's kind of cool and kind of interesting, kind of gives this real, uh, a, a bit of a realism and, to the entire thing. Um, I want to say they're all about the same height, you know, scale wise, I believe Killer Croc should be bigger. I mean, he is essentially a crocodile, so he should be bigger than both. But, you know, because he's just a standard pop figure, he is pretty much the same height as Diablo and Boomerang. So, you know, take that as a good or a bad Um Here's a little bit of a close-up. Here we have Diablo and Killer Croc. So you can kind of see how they both have street clothes. I'll give you guys that back view. Really like those back graphics on the jackets. Looks really cool. Uh, but yeah, you can even see just how contrast they are. He has a lot more darker clothes on. He has lighter clothes. So it gives a good contrast between the two. And here we have a close-up of Diablo and Boomerang. So 
I'm sorry guys if it gets a little brighter uh, the white balance is kind of thrown off because they have the hand so close to the camera um, but yeah you know like I said street clothes here's the back of it looks really cool I'm really interested on in seeing this movie you know this is one of my more highly anticipated films of 2016 so super interested to see that um, again, continuous comparison, we have Suicide Squad, Pop Heroes, Katana. And we have Suicide Squad, Pop Heroes, Rick Flag. So now we start to get a little bit of a uh, kind of diversity change. Uh, Diablo has the street clothes, Rick Flag has the more military clothes, and uh, Katana has more of that kind of like Eastern inspired clothes so that looks really cool um, here's a little bit of a close-up from Diablo and Katana you know again still wearing street clothes but still very unique to each other this has this more you know Los Angeles flavor while well, this is more Japanese inspired you know so it's very interesting how they belong in the same film but yet they're very different to one another very unique very personalized so that's really cool um, and here we have the close-up of Diablo and Rick Flag so again you can see how Rick Flag has more of that military look he has the rifle he has bulletproof vests so it is very interesting here we have the back view of them so looks really cool something that's interesting is that Rick Flag has more of that military buzz cut while he's clean shaved so it's kind of interesting to see how they portray both different haircuts so that's Kind of cool as well. Uh, just a little bit more, guys. Here we have the Suicide Squad Pop Heroes Deadshot. Now, if you guys haven't seen my other film, I do have to rotate his head backwards uh, just because he does not want to stand up for nothing. So that's a little unfortunate. And I have the Suicide Squad Pop Heroes Harley Quinn. So again, you know, you have street versus militarized. Um, and Harley Quinn and Diablo have street clothes, but very personal to each other. Harley Quinn has that kind of blue and red to match her, you know, her whole style, you know, I guess kind of the split personality. Diablo has a little bit more of a traditional clothes. And then Deadshot has, like I said, the militarized clothes, almost like uh, Rick Flag. So that is kind of cool. I'm going to rotate him to the front so you guys can get a better view of him. But here we have... Diablo and Deadshot. You know, looks really cool. I'll give you the the back view. The back view is the best example of Deadshot, just because he has the rifle covering his whole body. But still, you get the idea that I'm trying to get across. Also, something that's really cool is that Deadshot is bald in the movie, and like again, he has that kind of like faded shaved. So it's kind of cool again how they portray that. You know. Um. Here we have. Diablo and Harley Quinn looks really cool I'm super excited that you know I have all these guys these guys are gonna look uh, just awesome with one another trying to rotate to the back she has also a graphic on her jacket so that's really cool pretty much everybody has a graphic on their jacket and to kind of just demonstrate how loose you know this is Harley Quinn this is a very loose figure so that's what I mentioned when I said Diablo had a bit of a loose figure, but not as loose as Harley Quinn. Last but not least, we have the Suicide Squad Pop Heroes Joker. Um, you know, so this is essentially the entire lineup uh, of the standard set. Yes, there are more exclusive, but essentially everything I've showed you, this is the, you know, Suicide Squad set that you can buy anywhere. So again, this is really cool. Um, you know, Diablo with the street clothes and Joker with the kind of prison pants looks really cool. It's really interesting how they both have tattoos, but yet again, very personalized to one another. Diablo kind of has this skull theme going on his face, while Joker has this kind of, you know, clown theme going on his body. So looks really cool. Really interesting. I definitely like it. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is essentially my Diablo, uh, you know, Suicide Squad Pop Heroes review. Uh, I definitely like it. Definitely recommend it to all you, you know, Suicide Squad fans out there. Diablo is still pretty much a new character to me. I, uh, the first time I was introduced to him was in the New 52 Suicide Squad. 
So I don't know if he's a really old character, if there's a huge fan base for him, but I think he looks really cool. He's definitely one of the more interesting characters of the whole film, you know, and I think if you guys kind of just like tattoos in general, just, you know, that kind of weirdness, uh, I think this figure looks really cool. This whole, his whole face design with the skull and the Diablo right there looks really interesting and really cool. So highly recommend it to all you guys. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that is essentially my figure review. Go ahead, comment down below with any of your guys' thoughts, opinions. Uh, are you guys picking him up? Or have you guys already picked up the entire lineup? You know, whatever you guys uh, want to say, go ahead, comment down below. Like the video, you guys like it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe and look forward to more videos, guys. Thanks. Laters.